Hi there. Here's another video about old telephones and particularly these curly cords. One problem that people have with these is they get really really filthy and they also tend to come uncurled. I'm going to show you a few neat tricks on how to clean them and restore them so they'll be good as new. So the first thing we need to do to restore our curly cord is to get some warm water and a splash of ordinary washing up liquid. And you don't need too much, just enough for the cord to go in. Now you'll see there are electrical connections on the end of this cord. Don't worry about that. It's only wires, provided you dry it out again before you reconnect it to anything, it'll be fine. So what we do now is we just dump that in the warm water. And almost immediately the dirt starts to come off. Now this cord is supposed to be grey. I don't know if you can see there the dirt already rubbing off. So all I do is get an old slightly abrasive scourer. These are quite good. They're not too abrasive these, but they are abrasive enough to get some of the dirt off. And just get the cord at the end and just rub down it like that and don't worry if your cord starts to come unraveled we'll be sorting that out a little bit later but all you have to do for now is to just run down the cord and you can see that it does come a bit uncurled but that's nothing to worry about and if you find any paint on the cords and you very often will like there for instance you can usually just begin to flick that off with your thumbnail and you can see that is go in there and there's the paint and there's your cord almost clean and there you go now the rubber grommets on the ends of these cords get particularly dirty there's no easy way of doing it, you just have to clean those as best you can. This is where using something like one of these scourers that's a little bit abrasive will help. But it's just a matter of doing whatever you can. Now, I'm not taking a lot of time on this. Um, you can take more time but I don't want this video to be too long and bore everybody to death but already Just in a few moments like that, you'll see that the grommet there is much cleaner than it was. If I compare it to the one at the other end that I've not done yet, you can see there is a bit of a difference. So I'll just do the other end one.
it would also help if you let the curdico soak in the warm water for a little while as well but as I say I'm doing this for speed for demonstration purposes So we're almost there. And that is a lot better than it was. So now, let me just give it a rinse off. We put it aside for a few minutes to start drying out. Okay, so I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so we've now got our curly cord. Mine's still a bit wet. You can let yours dry out before you do this, or you can do it while it's still damp if you like. It doesn't really matter. It's nice and clean now, but it has still got a problem. And the problem it's got now is that some of the curls are going the wrong way and it's not as curly as it used to be. Now, when these cords are made, the way that they're made is they start out as a straight cord, which they wrap around a metal rod, like I'm wrapping that around my finger, they heat it up and then pull it off the rod and it's partially curly. But the way they make it a tight curl is they then force the curls to wind the opposite way. And when they force them to wind the opposite way, they curl tighter. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to force these curls to wind the opposite way. So these now curl tighter. So if you look at the end here of this cord you will see if I show you that there that those curls are not very tight are they so what we're going to do is instead of it going that way around we're going to wind it so it curls the other way one curl at a time and if you can see what I'm doing, it was curling that way. It was going that way around. So it spiralled that way. The old bit looks spiralled that way. And we're making it spiral that way. So I'm manipulating each one in turn. Into... A nice tight spiral and as you can see immediately this spiral is much tighter so if you look at this down here you see how loose this is if I carry on manipulating these and it probably is easier to do it with it dry because it doesn't slip in your hands so much because it does kind of have a mind of its own. But you've got to make the spirals go the opposite way to what they have been doing. And that will magically tighten up your cord. There you can see the tight bit of the cord so far. 
And I'll show you again what I'm doing, just so you get it in your mind. At the moment, the spiral is going this way. If you look down this cord, it's going that way, that way around. What I'm doing is making it go that way as it goes down the cord. And it takes a bit of doing. You basically have to hold the bit you've done in place and then force the next bit to go that way around. Hold that one in place. And this next bit here you see is wanting to go that way. But I want it to go that way. So you have to pull it out a bit and force it here to lay the other way. Like the bit you've already done. And as you do all that. It should eventually make a nice tight spiral all the way down. Now it does take a while to do this and I have actually picked one of the longest curly cords that you can get on a British phone to do this with. Uh, which may have been a bit of a mistake. But it gives you some idea, and here we've got a strange twisted knot in it, but we're going to try and straighten it out. And there you go, it's gone. And we just keep going down. Remember, I've not used any heat on this except for the warmth of the water earlier, and that's what made it lose some of its tightness of the spiral when I was cleaning it. But now, by making the spiral go the opposite way, we're tightening it up again. And I would never have thought of this had I not seen a bit of archive film of how they make these cords. And they do it on a thing a bit like an electric drill. They hold one end of it in something, in like a vice or something, then put the other end in like an electric drill and then that winds it along, and winds it all backwards. But you might not want to wind all of yours backwards because sometimes you'll find an odd little, odd little knot or weird bit like that in your cord. So you don't actually want to wind it all backwards. You want to look at every curl in turn and decide what you need to do with it and it takes a little bit of practice this but once you get used to it it's brilliant and it really does rejuvenate the cords on your phones so they'll last a lot longer many more years and they won't be trailing everywhere because the curl hasn't gone weak in them you know, it's been rejuvenated they're nice and springy again so we're getting towards the end now If I step back a bit, you'll see the difference between the tight side here that I've done and the side that I haven't done here that is all loose. I'll just come closer again and show you as best I can what I'm doing here. There, can you see that? So basically I've been curling it one way with this hand and curling it up the other way with this hand.
And here we go. All the way to the end. We're nearly at the end now. The end bit sometimes is a bit more tricky because it puts up more of a fight wanting to go the other way. But there we go. That's it. And that massive long curly cord now is only that length because it's a nice tight spiral again. Now bear in mind that is under its own weight there. But if you look at that, you'll see that's a nice tight spiral all the way down. So, just got to install that again now on the phone and that's how you restore a telephone curly cord. Remember, if you want to see more videos, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.